All right, thank you for staying with us. It's time for us to move on now to the next part of the show. And um, let me just tell you that we've made a change. And uh, today, Koiki has gone to work behind the scene. We've brought in someone that I described as uh, a key member of the San Diego's. We need to begin to appreciate these guys for what they do year in, year out uh, for our football, the Sand Eagles. And we have the top scorer in the house. Let me take a good look at this guy. He's looking like this on set. It doesn't look this way when he's playing uh, on the pitch. Abu Aziz is our guest on Sports Tonight. Abu, um, thank you for coming on, on the show. Uh, you're welcome. Thank you. Mm. I have to speak a little louder now. <laughs> you're welcome. <laughs> thank you. <laughs> Uh, Abu Aziz is also a player of uh, Rory Wolves. But let, me, let me start with, with this question. How do you guys transit? You play on grass, you play on artificial turf, and then you play on, on sand. On the sand, yep. Um, when it's time for any tournament on the sand, uh, we're being invited to camp. Uh, we just had to come for camp uh, around Badagri, and uh, we have to just train for the number of... Um, days we have to be there uh, before going for the tournament mm, mm. and you are just just like that and just like that <laughs> <laughs> uh, uh, all right um uh, I, I was going to ask you before i go and and take you on some take you on, on some other issues how many times have you been mvp of copa lagos i know you were mvp last year three times three times yep mvp yep wow amazing oh yeah and this is a player of Holy wolves he still plays his football on on grass and artificial turf and it's fantastic on sand. Yeah, they, they are versatile. Mm. They, they can change, they ch change like chameleon. <laughs> <laughs> so the, the players, uh, they, they adapt to situations. Mm. That, that, mm. is the, that is the amazing the thing about part of the Nigerian player. footballer. Yep. And that's why when they get to Europe or Asia or abroad, they, they want to survive. Mm. You know, they, they, want to, they don't want to go back um, to where they were being old in the past. They, they want to you know, make a name, make money, and uh, move on with their lives. So, I think that is uh, the, the, that situation drives the players to give in their best. Mm. So uh, when you have an opportunity to play for the San Diego's for any national team, you want to give in your best, and that I think that's the driving force for some of them. Mm. Mm. All right, but before I come back to you, uh, um, Abu, uh, to talk about this edition of the of the competition okay. uh, uh, and preparations, let's just take a look at some of that stories very quickly. We'll just run through um, some of these stories. Uh, Oye, uh, Calf have announced the seating for 2015 Africa Cup of Nations. Nigeria won't be there. Uh, so Nigerians are not really paying too much attention to uh, the seed. So as, as is always the style, pot one, pot two, pot three, pot four. Uh, and then teams in each pot cannot play against themselves. They have, the draws will be held on the 3rd of December. Yeah, so in, um, the 3rd of December in Malabo, uh, the story is all over the place. Uh, like you said, the pots, uh, the seedings is determined by the previous, previous uh, uh, record. Uh, records, records. You know, when you get, get play at the finals of um, the last edition, the semi-final, the top place, you know, and like that, then um, all those teams, all those top-ranked teams will be in all those spots. Mm. Then they, 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 then they, they will use the second um, pot rank two. Pot two to, to get this, the th teams that are, they follow them, just, just like that, to the, to the least-ranked teams. Mm. Uh, but like you said, we, we, the awareness in Nigeria is not much, but we still need to follow the nation's call because mm. this is uh, the flagship uh, tournament of Africa. Mm. Um, we, we, we have to follow so that we know, we learn from what our are mistakes who are from our mistakes mm. in the past. But uh, CAF has said that uh, they expect an imperfect tournament, so we have to bear with them. You know, whatever we see, necessity is the mother mm. of invention. Whatever, whatever we see, mm. in Kotoa Guinea is like um, they came to build CAF and just have to, you know. Um, take whatever we take see. Whatever we see in that at, at all, at all. As we say, <laughs> as we say in uh, in pigeon, at all, at all. Anyway, let, let's just talk about the Cup Competitions Cup first leg uh, final game played over the weekend. We talked about serious sports a couple of minutes ago uh, in the shortlist for the Club of the Year. They beat El Hali of Egypt 2-1 in the first leg. Second leg comes up this weekend. Uh, serious sports are seeking to become the first Ivorian team to win in a long, long time after Asik Mimosa. Uh, won the Cup Champions League, I think, in the 1998. Yeah, that, that, was, was, about, that uh, was the last the, time. The biggest performance of Tunisia. Oh, in the final. Yeah. All right, so, serious spots, 2-1 advantage. Very slim from the first leg uh, going into that. Um, the Dream Team, uh, also in camp in uh, Abuja, getting ready for the All Africa Games qualifier. And I, I, and I think we said something last week that, Abu, this Dream Team, are you still eligible to play in the Dream Team? Very well, sir. Eligible to play in the Dream Team? Very okay. Well. Not going to the Nations Cup, our focus now should be on our dream team and on our flying eagles to yes. do the job for us. Yes, sir. But does this put 
you footballer can't have any kind of pleasure at all, at all. It has happened, it has happened. Mm. That is football. We didn't qualify for the Nations Cup. Doesn't mean we won't play football anymore. We also have to forge ahead and continue playing football. Mm. That is just it. So there is no way it's putting any pressure on any player or anybody. Mm. Uh, we have to just continue playing. You, you want to continue that ticket at the end of the season for, yeah. for Worry Wolves? You'll be Very playing well. CAF Competitions Cup next season. Yes. How prepared? Do you, do you think the team can... Very well, very, very well. Very well. I think uh, we have um, very, very good and fantastic players there. That I think uh, we can really um, make something out of the competition scope when it's time. But at the moment, we're still at home. We're on break. And uh, when it's time for us to resume, I think we'll be ready for the tournament. Mm. Mm. Okay, let, let's, let me come to you uh, and talk about uh, the uh, Sandy Goals. Our uh, next story about the Copa Lagos is that the San Diego's will be opening camp on Wednesday. Oh, I'm hearing that for the first time. Eh? Oh, it's news to you? Very much so. <laughs> <laughs> no, so are, you, are you ready to open camp on Wednesday? Absolutely, yes. Mm. The, the last time we won it, how many, how many days did you go opening camp? We were in camp, week. For, we're in camp for five days. Th that was 2013? Well, yes, we were in camp for just five days. Uh, and um, we just had to put ourselves that uh, this, these other teams can come to Nigeria to come and win us. Mm. Uh, that's just the spirit behind our success. It's not like uh, we did any extra thing. We also had to tax ourselves that, guys, we have to play. We have to do this. We have to do that. And uh, I think that's what brought that um, success to the country. Mm. So wh what are we expecting this year? <sighs> Uh, this year, as in, uh, I, I don't think um, I'm expecting um, any miracle because it's been a very long time uh, the team has been together. Like the last time we played beach, beach soccer uh, was uh, December 2013. Until this moment now, none of, bo none of us, mm. none of us has been playing beach soccer. And uh, I think uh, it will be very, very hard for us to just retain that title again. It mm. will be very, very hard. Uh, but, but, but last year you had just five days, mm. and you trained for five days, and you were able to go out and take everybody out. Right. So what, what, what makes you think it's it, going to be it, different? It, it might not be like that this year now. Mm. It might not be like that because the Senegalese, uh, they, they will come back stronger than they were last year. Even last year when we won them, like, uh, yeah, it, it happened like within two minutes. We, yeah. scored, yes. like, we scored like three two, goals. Yes, I remember. Goals. Well, the I, was uh, I think that was what up, up those. So this time when they are coming out, they will be well prepared than... Mm. the last year so it might not be as lucky as you were last, we were last year let, let, let's talk about the, the San Diego's and the welfare of the players a lot of times we read a lot of stories um, allowances bonuses is this something you want to talk about I wouldn't want to talk about <laughs> that presently <laughs> <laughs> I wouldn't want to talk about mm, that. Mm, um, mm, mm. I, I wouldn't want to talk <laughs> about no, that. No, 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 no. I'll leave that to my to my boss. Mm. That's coach. Uh, I'll coach. Do. I'll do a mm. mm. talk about. It should be yours to talk about that. Mm. You should be the one to talk about it. Mm. Absolutely. But but what what privileges do you have as a as a San Diego? What privileges do you enjoy? I mean, the, the bonus, the camping, the privileges. Uh, everything everything has mm. been okay. Everything has been okay. Like um, they do motivate us. They do 